the issue of development charges is always going to cause an awful lot of debate in a particular city uh, between the home builders and the people who are developing new subdivisions and people who are living in existing especially in older uh, existing uh, neighborhoods in the city the city is looking at increasing their development charges for uh, new single-family and semi-detached houses and they're looking at bringing the cost up an additional twenty one hundred dollars or so from the uh, existing development charges in terms of the cost and the price of a new house a new house that this additional amount is is really irrelevant it, it's it's not a lot of money but the principle of development charges is something that city council has to really deal with carefully it's not fair to ask a community where there are a lot of homes a lot of older homes such as in valley east to pay additional taxes additional property taxes in order to keep development charges in new developments lower so if there are infrastructure charges that have to be uh, be, be dealt with and there are additional costs because of a new subdivision going into an area it's not fair that the existing people who are already living in the community have to share in that cost and this is where the development charge controversy comes in because the cost of developing the infrastructure and putting in the infrastructure for these new developments is getting significant and in order to pay for this infrastructure a certain fee has to be charged for each new building or each new unit that goes up this is something that a um, particular developer may not recover until all of the homes are sold and so it's uh it, it, it's going to be something that keeps coming up every two or three years as we take a look at the increasing costs of providing services and as we take a look at where development is being allowed to um, to exist in the valley we have some significant developments that are going on and the cost the development cost for each new house going up is probably going to be in the neighborhood of 17 or 20 thousand dollars and that's just unfortunately the the cost of buying a new home today and my particular position is whatever increased cost the municipality is going to incur from new houses going up that increased cost should be paid by the new houses and and, and it should not be spread across the entire city because property taxes are high enough as they are and, uh, and and we have to be careful that we're not uh, making existing homeowners pay for new developments when we can't even afford to fix up the crumbling infrastructure that we already have uh, again it's a very sensitive issue you want to promote new homes you want to promote people moving into the area you don't want to overprice the houses and you don't want to uh, add costs to new homes is going to be prohibitive so people might look at other cities but I think in terms of the cost of homes in Sudbury our costs are still relatively low and I really don't believe that the price of a new home is going to be a deterrent to a person moving in to the Sudbury area so we'll, we'll be taking a good look at development charges over the next few years and, and my position is I, I believe that when you're looking at new homes being built, then the, the additional cost that we're going to incur for the new developments really should be paid in that new development.